guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a haul in my new place. I just uploaded a little apartment tour if you're interested. Um, as I mentioned in that video, I'm still trying to nail down a good location for filming. Um, I wanted to film in front of the shelf, but back there the echo is really bad. I know that there's an echo right here too, and I like have like laid things out on the floor to try to absorb it, but maybe I just need to get more stuff to fill the apartment. I don't know. Um, we'll see what I can do about that. I apologize if it bothers you right now, but I'm just testing some things out. Right before I started filming, I was like just taking my laptop all around the entire place, turning on and off all different lights and opening up different curtains and whatnot, trying to figure it out. Um, and so I don't know, but I just was like, whatever, I'm going to film. I'm sick of doing this. Uh, I usually have a lamp back there, but it's like over here now because I'm trying to give myself a little extra light. There's a light right above me, but if I turn that on, it looks like a crazy psycho with like weird shadows and stuff. And uh, anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm just going to start, and uh, again, apologies about the echo. But I have a haul which includes the Paris collection, body care, and candles from White Barn. Uh, basically, as I also mentioned in the last little video, I haven't been to Bath and Body Works or a White Barn in like over a month. I mean, I was busy. I was moving. I was sort of paying attention to what was going on on Instagram and watching other people's videos, but not really. Um, and I knew that there was a floor set that happened after Easter for Paris. So I decided, you know, I'll finally go check things out, see what's new. And I went this week and... I expected there to be Paris candles in my Bath and Body Works store, and there were not. There were Paris wallflowers, and there was Paris body care, but no candles. Um, and on my Instagram, when I posted about that, some people were saying that that's those candles are not going to come to regular Bath and Body Works stores. They're going to be online and white barn only, which is kind of weird. Um, and I don't know how true that is or anything, but that's what was being said so again I've been kind of out of the loop so I don't know but I did eventually I did go to White Barn and so I do have some of those candles to talk about with you uh, but really my main reason to go on Thursday was that I wanted a couple more Aloha Kiwi passion fruit candles that is this candle right here and I did previously review it in that review, I had gotten two, and I was like, that's probably all I need, you know, two will be good. <laughs> Famous last words, I actually decided that I wanted more, because I do really like it. Um, it's kicking butt right now. This is the first burn on this particular one, but it smells very strong in here, and this is a bigger, more open space than my last place. But I went to Bath & Body Works on my lunch break, out by where I work, and they didn't have any, and so I was really disappointed. Uh, and I also asked about the Paris candles, and they fiend ignorance if they did know that they weren't ever getting them because they were like, we just haven't gotten them yet. And I told them that they were online, and they were like, huh, weird. And that was about it. So I was like, okay, forget this. I will go to a different Bath and Body Works. So on Thursdays, after work, I have a little break, and then I teach a class in the evening. And so I took a little detour during that little break to hit a totally different BBW, not the one by my work, not the one by my house, just another random one. And I went in there, and they also didn't have the Paris candles. So then I was like, okay, I guess no one has them yet. Weird. Um, but I also did not see any Aloha Kiwi passion fruit. And at that store, they told me that they'd only ever gotten like one case in and that they'd sold out a couple weeks ago. So then I was like, Crap, you know, that's what I get for kind of getting out of the loop for a while and not going. Of course, they've sold out of the candle, candle that I want. They had tons of the seagrass and the mahogany coconut and all of that from this collection here, uh, which they probably got a ton in of and they will repackage to death and they'll probably never bring this one back, right? That's how it always goes. But I ended up calling White Barn. And the White Barn is 90 minutes from where I live. It was an hour from where I was for my class. And they said that they did have some, but they had, they had like five left only. And I was like, ugh, I feel like I need to go get them. But then I could smell the Paris candles too, you know. So after class, I went to the third store all the way to White Barn um, like a crazy person <laughs> to get my Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit candles and to uh, get the Paris Collection candles. But... Before all of that, before the candles, at the second Bath & Body Works store, I did pick up a few things. I had the free item with $10 purchase coupon, so I made a $10 purchase and got as my free item the Bonjour Paris Shower Gel. So let's talk about this body care. 
I say this a lot, but I feel like so many of the new scents that Bath & Body Works puts out just all smell the same because they all have too many notes. I feel like so many of their scents smell like they just took everything in the store and put it in one big vat and just mixed it all together. It all starts to smell the same if it all has everything. Nothing straightforward anymore. And I feel that way about like Amber Blush, Endless Weekend, and so many of the little new um, temporary scents that they all have a lot of amber and musk and um, perfuminess and even if it's supposed to be a fruity scent or a floral scent they all have all those notes and it just gets really confusing one thing that I do note about a lot of those scents though is that the lotion will be very perfumey and musky but then the shower gels won't be as much so the shower gel versions of a lot of those types of scents are cleaner and fresher and so that's how I feel about this, and that's why I picked up the shower gel, um, because the lotion just seemed like nothing special. I got a lot more of the amber note in this, in the lotion, uh, and I don't get that so much in the shower gel. So this is the one from that collection that's described as macarons at a Paris cafe, and it's pink sugar, sugar cane, whipped marshmallow, candied orange blossom, white honeysuckle, and fluffy amber. So yeah, the lotion I have no interest in. The little square bottles with the pump are kind of cute, I guess. Um, but it just smelled too much like everything to me. Just not unique, and I don't really like perfumey, musky, ambery scents. But this version, the shower gel, you get a lot more of the orange. The orange really stands out. Now, granted, candied orange blossoms shouldn't actually, like orange blossoms, the flowers, don't smell like actual oranges. Tina Delicious points that out all the time. Um, but I get orange in this quite a bit of like orange rind. And then definitely a bakery note, something very sweet. It almost kind of has like an amaretto-y feel, which you guys know I love that. So that's why I picked this up. However, I used it a couple times now. Now with Bath & Body Works shower gels, they they never really stick around. I mean, you use them in the shower. I never feel like I can really smell it on my skin for more than like a minute afterwards. But this one didn't even smell in the shower when I was using it. You know, I used it on one of those puffy, meshy sponges and like it wasn't even permeating the shower air. Like I really only could smell it when I put my nose up to it and try to smell it. So it's a really a weak one. I do like the scent of it like this, but it doesn't put off much fragrance. Um, the packaging is cute, I guess, but I won't be getting any more from this collection. Um, as far as the other scents, of course, there's the floral one, but you know, floral is not really my thing. There was the water type of scent. Again, it smelled okay, but nothing special. And then there was the rose champagne, which was the first one that I tried. Um, but it also just, it, it was the same thing. It, it smelled too much like everything, too many notes all jumbled together. Nothing really stood out. And uh, so I passed on the rest of that collection. What I got for my $10 purchase to get that free was just a couple of random things. <laughs> um, you know, I have a million just a million of the free item mailer coupons that you can use on a $5 lotion or shower gel, the minis. Um, but they don't make those in any of the new scents. And I have like five million of all of the old scents, so I don't even use those coupons anymore. These, of course, are $6. Um, when I had first gone into the store on my lunch break, I had just put all the new scents I hadn't tried like all over, you know, I'm rolling up my sleeves and it's one here, one here, one here, you know. Um, and, uh, and there was one that I put on my arm that later I was like, it smells good right here, this area of my body, but I don't remember what I put there. And then I realized I had put this there. So I kind of like this scent. It's not anything that stands out. Again, I have so much body care you guys saw in my last video if you watched the tour. I don't need any more unless it's something that's really crazy, wow, awesome. But this was like pretty good and I thought I would just get a little one, you know, cause again, I was just trying to find something for 10 bucks to spend and use the coupon and all of that. Uh, and this, I feel like, uh, it's definitely different than like the Golden Pi Pineapple Luau from last year and some of the other pineapples that they've done that have been straightforward. I do feel like you get a little bit of a green note in this too. So it's like, it's good, but not like something I need to stock up on crazy style. So just got the one little cream. And then these little guys, I had another one that it's almost gone now, Stra uh, the Forever Pink, which is a repackage of strawberries and cream, really all of these all of these are repackages. There's a lot of different scents. And they're all ones that have been done before. Um, I decided to get another one because I like the size. The other one went really quick though. I mean, they're only one ounce. So yeah, I feel like they're a little greasy. 
They're a little too greasy, but the size works really well in a purse, and so I do like them for that. At four bucks, they're overpriced, but they've gone on sale for like two, two twenty-five, whatever. Um, this has the cutest packaging, I think, of all of them, but it's just a very basic, straightforward coconut scent. Kind of reminds me of like the Waikiki body care or the old uh, Oahu coconut, whatever, some mix of that. I mean, it's nothing special. Um, but just size-wise, I like these. So that was that purchase. And then, yeah, so now let's get into the candles that I got when I went to the White Barn. First of all, I walked into that mall, Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, Illinois, and I went to Bath & Body Works first, and there they were closed. There is no Bath & Body Works right now. Um, so, and I couldn't find it anywhere, like it had moved or anything. So I went to White Barn, and they told me that, yeah, the Bath & Body Works there is moving and White Barn is going to be moving, and Victoria's Secret is going to be moving, and Pink is going to be moving because they're separate there, because the White Barn and the Bath and Body Works are going to be combining, like at a lot of the stores. So it used to be two different stores in two different areas. Now they're, it's all going to be one store. Um, so, okay, you know, I'll have to make sure I call before I make that trip any you know, in the future to make sure that that White Barn's actually open. Uh, and so I did get two of my... Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit Candles. So now I have, I've gone through one, and so I have three, including the one that's burning right back there. That should be good. Uh, I'm glad I was able to get those because like I said, the good ones that I like that are unique and different are the ones that they never bring back. <laughs> and then I also grabbed another kind of old news candle uh, one of the palm leaves and mango candles, which not the best deal on this because sometimes they do have those all candles twelve fifty sales, and that would be when to pick one up from this collection because it's normally twenty six fifty. This was only a ten dollar off sale, so I only got I had to pay sixteen fifty for it. I shouldn't have done it, but it's just like I didn't want to wait, and I wanted another one. Um, this is another one that I reviewed and said that I was happy with just having one, and now famous last words, I went and I got one more. Um, but what I was able to do, so I always ask, you know, with the free item coupon, can you buy one through it and get another one free? And I know that you're not supposed to, but sometimes they let you depending on which store and which sales associate. And of course they told me no on that this time. But then I was like, well, do you have anything for a buck? And again, this was White Barn, not Bath and Body Works. So they don't have a lot of little things that you can throw into your transaction. But I had a 10 off 30 from a mailer. And I was like, I'd like to put these two together, but then I'm at 29. And she's like, well, with tax, you'll be over 30. Okay, so I got to use the 10 off 30 on, or 10 off 29, really, on uh, these two. So that wasn't a horrible, horrible deal. It made this one 10 bucks and this one like eight something. I like to pay between eight and nine dollars for these candles. I mean, well, I like to pay like six at the eight dollar candle sale with coupons, but um, you know, I'm okay with paying between eight and nine usually. So that made this one okay and, and fine because it's a fancy one with pretty glass. The rest of the candles that I got, the other four though, um, I just used a 20% off. Not a great deal. I could have used the free item again and got a medium-sized candle or a wallflower plug, but there were just none that I wanted at all. And at this point, it's like 8.45 on a work night and the mall is closing. So I'm like, oh, whatever, just put the other four together. I'll use a 20% off and be done with it. So they all came out to be about 10 bucks. Not great, but I might end up returning some of them. Okay, so two Alohas, one Palm Leaves and Mango, and then three from the Paris Collection. Let me talk first about the ones that I didn't get because all of the ones that I got are from the collection that looks like this. I did not get any from the Raw Iron Fence Collection, although I do think that it's pretty. But there's four candles that have that fence look on them, and it's uh, a jasmine one, which again, floral, pass for me. Um, Champagne Toast is back, and it's very pretty. You know, it's light pink. The sales girl is trying to get me to get that one, and I was like, you know, I just, it, it does look great, but. I have a Champagne Toast from Winter, and I love the body care, the Champagne Toast body care that came out in the winter, but I don't love burning that candle. Once in a while, I do. My mom loves it. A lot of people love it. I'm not knocking it or anything. Just for me, I don't know. There's something about it that's a little chemically when I burn it, so I don't burn it a lot, so I didn't need another Champagne Toast. There's Creme Caramel or Creme Caramel, uh, and it is definitely a repackage of pumpkin caramel latte, which was also repackaged as maple cinnamon pancakes. And so, yeah, it's nothing special. It's nothing that hasn't been done before. Although I will say 
the name that they have given it this time, Creme Caramel, uh, makes a lot more sense than the other two names because there's no pumpkin, there's no latte, there's no maple, and there's no cinnamon in that scent at all. And no pancakes for that matter either. And none of those, none of those names made sense. Just creme caramel makes the most scent for the, uh, sense for that scent. Um, it does just kind of smell like a caramel, maybe like a fancy type of delectable caramel. So I think the name this time makes the most sense, but it's not anything new. Then there is the blue candle in that collection called, what is it? St. Tropez, Trope, it would be. <laughs> I only took four years of French in high school. Uh, St. Trope Shore, is that what it is? Um, and so that one, I kept picking it up and smelling it and the salesperson was like, you should get that one, you keep going back to it. And I'm like, but it's not because I like it, it's because I'm trying to figure out what it smells like. And a lot of people have been comparing it to like Bergamot Waters, and I get that. It's definitely one of those fresh, clean scents. But I had to take it over and smell it right next to Cactus Blossom and Endless Weekend, which are different, but I've compared in the past. And I feel like St. Tropez Shore also has a vibe like that. But it was weaker than Cactus Blossom or Endless Weekend, but kind of reminded me of those. And so that's like there was a small moment where I considered getting it just to review but I was like no I know I'm not gonna like this candle it seems weak I pass I just I don't have a lot of money to spend right now because I'm buying all kinds of stuff for the new place so I had to reel it in a little bit but I got three candles like I said from this collection um the ones I didn't get I think are pretty much repackages there's a, a floral one again like a rose uh citron cedar wood and a lavender and so none of those were my thing but I did grab a white peach um and at first uh I there's a little piece of me that was like maybe this is different than Georgia peach but no it's not it's the same um Georgia Peach, which used to be called Market Peach, it's always been one of my favorite candles. I have a 2013 Market Peach that actually has sentimental value. I will never burn it. Uh, but every once in a while, I'll pick the scent up. I think Georgia Peach is a cuter name. They started calling it that with the Southern Collection. And uh, now they've called it White Peach and made it white. Whatever. Um, it's an oldie but goodie. Uh, but yeah, nothing new at all. I just, I had gotten one from the Curse of Flutter collection that had like honey tangerine and tomato vine. Uh, but I used that one up and that one was great for like the first half and then it started to get sooty and smell weird. So whatever. But I figured I'd try this version um, because I don't have one right now to burn. I only have the one 2013 one that I won't burn. And I've always liked that scent. So got that. The other two, a little bit more to talk about regarding those. Hang on one second. Okay, I had to go grab another candle to compare uh, because I picked up the Paris Cafe candle. This is a coffee scent. It is described as rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream or creme. And this is so ridiculously strong <laughs> that it smells with the lid on. When I was checking out the girl, she hadn't really looked at what I had, but she's like, you got the coffee one, didn't you? Cause she could smell it. And I've had it sitting in my spare room. And every time I went in there, it smelled like coffee, even though the lid has been on the candle. Uh, it's very, very strong. But this, uh, it's pretty much a repackage of espresso bar. And that's what I'd heard. So espresso bar, there's a little bit of a story here. This came out in 2013, April-ish, with the Italian collection, so four years ago. And that was the first time that it came out. And I remember watching Little Balladeer, who at the time reviewed a lot of test candles. I remember watching her talk about this and she was nuts about it. She loved it. And so I just wanted this candle so bad when I was testing and I couldn't wait for it to come out. And as soon as it came out, I went to the store and I bought three. It smells great on cold. I went home, I burned it, and I returned the other two. I just kept the one because I did not like it burning. And for me, I think it just has not, it doesn't smell authentic when it's burning. Um, every once in a while, the same way that every once in a while I'll try broccoli, because I'm like, maybe I'll like it now. Um, every once in a while, I'll bust out this candle, but I still don't like broccoli and I still don't like this candle. It smells like cheap coffee to me, like cheap, old, kind of burnt, 
coffee, not like a good Starbucks type of smell. Um, I used to work at a nursing home in the kitchen in high school, which was actually an awesome job. But we had to clean the big coffee, like huge industrial coffee machines at the end of the day, and we'd have to like empty the old filters. And that's kind of what this smells like to me, like cleaning out the old coffee machines, like the burnt, like Folgers or off-brand coffee, it's cold and gross, like that. Um, and every time I light this up, that's what it reminds me of. So I don't light it up very often and I've never checked out any of the repackages of it. So it's been repackaged as Gourmet Espresso, Harvest Coffee, a couple other things. Uh, and I just never am interested. I did check out and I do have and like Mocha Latte Swirl from spring 2016. Um, that one is sweeter and it definitely has like a caramel note and it's different and I like that one but I've never checked out the repackages of this until Paris Cafe. I don't know it smells a little different on cold and it might just be because this one's four years old and this one's brand new. In fact that's probably what it is but I just felt like you know it's been four years Let's try the new version. Maybe it's a little different over the years. Maybe they've changed it just a little bit. I feel like I get a lot more sweetness in this. It smells more authentic right off the bat. I almost feel like I get a little bit of like an amaretto note again, or like definitely the vanilla is more prominent. These are both supposed to have vanilla in them, but I just figured what the hell, I'll try it. We'll see if it's any different. Maybe it'll still smell like old burnt cold nursing home coffee to me, but I'm going to try it and I will let you guys know what I think uh, and hopefully it'll be good. I don't know. If not, I'll save some money and I'll take it back. And then the last one that I got from this collection is the Merci Paris. I actually lit this one up for a few minutes yesterday. Um, this one was another one that I was, it was in my basket, out of my basket, in my basket, out of my basket. Couldn't decide and I finally decided that I would get it because it's kind of interesting and different. It's supposed to be creamy vanilla, black currant, rich black currant, and soft jasmine. And I asked the sales associate, I said, what do you think this smells like? Uh, because it's very, like, I don't know, it's just weird. It's hard to pin down at first. And she goes right to the notes, you know, and I'm like, no, just tell me what you think it smells like. Don't read the notes. But, you know, she's like, I get the vanilla, I get the currant, I don't really get the jasmine. Um, and I said, well, you know, do you, does it smell like marshmallow to you? Um, or even a little bit like marshmallow fireside? And she said, yeah. Now, again, I've been out of the loop. So I don't know if anybody else has said this. Does anybody else think that this smells like marshmallow fireside a little bit? Because I totally kind of do. It smells like marshmallow fireside, but like with a perfume note and not as strong, like a lighter version of marshmallow fireside with a perfumey, like women's perfume, clean kind of note there. Or maybe like, like that's the... Jasmine being a little bit in there. Um, I mean, I know it's supposed to be vanilla, but I don't know. For me, I feel like it has kind of like a teeny bit of smokiness and I don't know, it's it's reminding me of Marshmallow Fireside, guys. I, I haven't heard anybody else say that, but maybe everyone else has said that, maybe nobody else has said that. Anyway, I'm gonna do a post burn review on this one for sure, I need to burn it more besides just the one time. I lit it up thinking I was gonna stay home and then I got invited out, so I had to like put it out right away and I didn't really get a good feel for it or anything yet. But I'm gonna keep burning this. I'm gonna come back and tell you what I think. But yeah, uh, that was the other one that I got. So six candles and this stuff, and that was what I picked up on Thursday. And uh, yeah, so my first haul in a little while, but it's good to be back. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Look forward to post burn reviews, at least on the Paris Cafe and the Merci Paris. I don't, I probably don't need to do a review for White Peach because it's just Georgia Peach again, you know. But uh, I'll come back and let you know what I think of the other one. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. I missed you. Bye.